Namaste. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President uh, Patuk, for uh, inviting me again and for making part of this extraordinary World Gujarati Conference uh, held right here in Edison, New Jersey, which is very appropriate that you are holding this conference here for a opportunity in which New Jersey's own famous Thomas Edison, whose genius and ingenuity made New Jersey the center of innovation and discovery, just as Gujarat is the center of innovation and industrial growth in India. And so we share that together. I'm thrilled to be here with uh, members of President Obama's uh, administration. And as a senior member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, I have been a strong advocate for the U.S.-India relationship to two most significant democracies in the world joined together in pursuit of a better world and a better opportunity for all mankind. As you come together to celebrate Gujarati culture and its impact on the overall economic success of India, it is a pleasure to share in the pride of the Gujarati community the cultural bond you share and the common concerns all of us share for democratic values and continued economic growth. The American Indian Association of North America deserves much credit for making this event such a tremendous success and for shining a light on all of you who as proud Gujaratis have come together to showcase your heritage. When I think of Gujarat, its proud culture and proud heritage, of course, we think of it as the birthplace of Mahatma Gandhi, the leader of Indian nationalism and pride, and a world leader who taught us humility as well as perseverance and honor. He inspired us and spoke of the pride you feel in this hall today when he said, a nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the souls of its people. You are his people and the Gujarati culture resides in your hearts and souls, in all that you have achieved and will achieve for yourselves, your families, for Gujarat, here in the United States of America, where this community has given so much and established so much success in business people, in professions, in the service to the country of the United States, we are proud of Gujaratis here in the United States of America. Gujarat as the economic engine that is helping to continue to move India well into its 21st century success is moving quickly and growing rapidly. But as Gandhi also told us, there is more to life than simply increasing its speed. The history and culture that all of you represent is not only about the progress you have made and the jobs and economic opportunity you have created, but the rich heritage of the region and the contribution to Indian culture of all of you. And all of us who try to live up to the example of Gujaratis like Gandhi in our lives in all that we do. So as you reconnect with your roots and recognize the industrial cultural, political, academic, and social leaders who represent the best of Gujarat, as you renew the spirit of what it means to be Gujarati and to be Indian, be inspired, be proud, celebrate the power of community and rich her cultural heritage that you share, and also remember that we are all one community bound together on a single destiny and journey. And remember, as Gandhi told us, the difference between what we do and what we are capable of doing would suffice to solve most of the world's problems. 
have a great, successful conference. Dahanyawa. Thank you very much for having me with you.